When you were a kid, were you able to vibrate your ears making you believe you had the power of telekinesis which led to you not having many friends because you were that weird kid that thought you had the power of telekinesis? Just me? Humans are weird. This is a statement I've made a few times on this channel and I'm probably never going to stop saying it because we are seriously weird. When I was a kid, I discovered that I could make thunder in my ears. I told my mom about this and she just assumed I was playing pretend. I told my friends about this and they just assumed I was nuts. As an adult, I still wondered what the heck this was and why I can do it. Eventually, my five second Google search led me to discover the tensor tympani. The tensor tympani is a muscle located in your middle ear, which some people are able to voluntarily contract, like myself. This produces a vibration which, since the muscles in your ear, you pick up. Most people describe it as a rumbling sound. To me, it kind of sounds like a low bass tone. The muscle itself was discovered in 1564 by anatomist Bartolomeo Eustachi, and the reason we have the muscle is to muffle the noise of loud sounds like chewing, thunder, so on. However, it's not quick enough to muffle noises such as gunshots. It has been known that some people can voluntarily control it since the late 1800s. By the way, if you hear a low rumbling noise when you yawn, that is also the tensor tympani. So while this is pretty neat, you're probably wondering why some people can make their ears go burr and other people cannot. The answer to that is, we don't really know. In fact, we don't even have a good source of data on how many people can actually contract it. It's believed to not be that common, but how uncommon, eh, who knows. While understanding the tensor tympani is important for dealing with things like hyperacusis and increased sensitivity to sound, the voluntary rumbling thing really isn't all that medically important, it's just kinda cool. As for any negative health effects associated with being able to contract it, well, I haven't had any. Everything has been a-okay for me. Thank you all for watching. Do you have this ability or something else your body can do? Let me know in the comments below. This is the last week to submit questions for a 300 sub Q&A video. I've already gotten some great questions over on my Facebook page. If you have a question you'd like to ask, please drop it in the comment below. Thanks.